Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. Um, my friend's gaming laptop was overheating, so I'm going to be taking it apart and replacing the thermal paste. It's about four or five years old now at this point. <clears throat> I'm sure once we get in there, the thermal paste will be hard and crusty and ready to be replaced. To perform this thermal paste job, we're going to need thermal paste, obviously, and we're also going to need a screwdriver, preferably ma magnetic, so that uh, you don't drop any of the screws, and we're also going to need a guitar pick or something to just wedge the case open, preferably something soft that you don't damage the case. Make sure you're pressing down hard when removing any of these screws so you don't strip them. They are in there really hard. I don't know if they have Loctite on them or what the issue is, but they are really locked down. Starting out, we're gonna remove the first four screws on the back there. Along the vent, you'll see there's two on each side. And then along the front, there's three screws that we'll also be removing. And then we're gonna use the guitar pick to get the back plate off. I'm gonna call it a back plate. It's just the piece that we just unscrewed. I guess you could use a butter knife or something else, but I'm using a plastic guitar pick, that way it doesn't hurt the case. And as always, remember to be grounded when you're doing working inside a PC and also be working on a non-conductive surface. I was able to get the uh, guitar pick into one of the corners by slightly flexing the corner and pressing, pressing in with the pick. And then once I got it in there, I was able to just work it back and forth all the way around the case until I got the back plate off. Once you've loosened it all the way around the edge, you just pop the back plate off. There's a couple of clips, so it kind of feels like it's stuck, but it'll pop right out of there. All right, now that we got the back plate removed, the first thing we're gonna do is remove the power cable, which you can see it's right in the center of the PC, basically. It's attached to the battery, obviously. Um, I just used my fingernails to pop it out. You could use the tweezers. Next, I'm uh, removing the screws that are holding down the cooler from the GPU and the CPU. It really doesn't matter what order you go in. There's four screws on the CPU cooler and four screws on the GPU. I don't know why these screws are so tight, but you really gotta be careful taking them out. I'm removing the Wi-Fi cables just to get them on my way. Um, and yes, this thermal paste is uh, completely dried. Right now I'm unplugging the fan cables, there's three of them, and then I'm going to be removing the screws for the fans, which there's five of those. One of the screws goes through both fans. Now you can't see this because I'm off screen, but I took the fans and I blew them out. I also blew out the radiator. Um, you could just use a can of air. I got a little um, electric blower that I use. All right, now we're just removing the old thermal paste. We're just using uh, alcohol and a toothbrush. You could just use alcohol and a um, Q-tip as well. But this stuff is really hard. That's why I'm using a toothbrush. It must have been really old. It was really baked on there. Once I got it all off with the toothbrush, I cleaned it up with the uh, Q-tip. I'm only using 70% alcohol. You could use something higher if you wanted but it really doesn't matter on the cooler. This isn't a data connection. You're not gonna have any data loss there or anything, so. As you can see, there are thermal pads also on the cooler. They won't need to be replaced. Um, 
they last pretty much forever unless they're completely dried out and these have no cracks or anything in them so I'm not going to replace them You could also use a microfiber cloth to clean off the thermal paste if you wished. And then I just went around the case a little bit with alcohol and a Q-tip and cleaned up any place that was really dusty or any place that was meant to transfer heat. And today we're going with Artix MX-5 just because I have it on the shelf. I always like to spread out the thermal paste. When you place the cooler back on, just make sure you have everything lined up. I like to get all the screws started before I run any of them down. That way you don't have any binding issues when you're trying to tighten them. I also like to tighten them in a crisscross pattern. That way they go down as squarely as possible. And I did give the entire PC a blowout with my little electric blow gun. But you could do the same with your uh, with can of air. And just connecting those Wi-Fi cables back up. Um, they just have a little path they run into. They snap in there. Once they're in, you'll know they're in because they uh, they don't move once they're in. Now that the fans are nice and cleaned up, gonna set them in and just screw them down. Um, and then just make sure we plug in our fan cables so this thing cools. That wouldn't be good to take this apart again. Eh? And the same with the fan screws. You know, get them all started, then tighten them down. The cables are very small and fragile, so be careful with them, don't break them. While you're in here, give it a visual inspection. Make sure there's the battery's not bulging or anything like that. If you're thinking about upgrading your memory or upgrading your SSD and getting a little bit bigger one, this would be the ideal time to do that as well, seeing as how you already got it all open. That's all right there. I always like to run the wires just like I found them. And of course the last wire we're hooking up since we're all done inside is the power wire from the battery. On the bottom over the vents they have this little mesh screen. I guess that's to block some of the dust coming into the PC. Um, I got rid of it for my buddy. They also had a part of it was just completely covered. They had a, where the hard drive was. They had hard plastic there. 
I got rid of all that so that the venting would work a little bit better. It is going to cause it to bring in more dust, but he doesn't really live in a dusty environment. And after four years, this thing had very little dust in it, so I think we're going to be okay. And I could take it apart at any time and clean it up for him. And now we're just going to pop the back on. And yeah, you just got to line it up and press it down, press those clips in. And once those clips are in, all the screws will be lined up on the back for you perfectly. But I still like to run them down one at a time, get them all started, run them down one at a time. The reason we're not going over the before and after thermals today is because I took the screenshot on the laptop and I never transferred the picture. Um, I do remember the numbers. It was hitting 96 after about three and a half hours of gaming. We br In about the same gaming session, it brought it down to about 94, which isn't much at all. But I really think that's more due to the fans than it is the thermal paste. Um, I can't get the fans to run consistently. Well, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, please just leave it in the comments below. If I can answer it, I will. Um, if you can, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not. Thanks and take care.